New England Gardening here. Today's Thursday, April 18th, 2013. I'm out in the garden here. Where is April going? It's uh, already almost over with. Had a lot of projects to do. Don't know where to start. Uh, I have the fruit trees sprayed. And uh, I can tell because I can smell it. It's not exactly an organic smell. It's more of a chemical smell, unfortunately. But the buds are really starting to pop. With this nice bright blue skies the past couple of days. Lows only in the 40s at night. But a lot to do. I've got some, I got a raised bed over there I want to move. Um, blueberry bushes, the buds are swelling, opening up. But hopefully, I'd like to get or start a shed in that corner there. And I uh, received my um, giant Oregon peas, which, man, those were so good last year. I want to get those in the ground uh, with the still cool temperatures around here at night. Those o Oregon giant peas, snow peas, were just delicious. Let's see, and I noticed, uh, now I got this tulip coming up in this bed again. I left it there last year. But, I'm starting to look around for volunteers, and I think I recognize this here. And that's a potato leaf. And those must, must be a leftover of the uh, Russian fingerling potatoes that I had in this bed last year. I don't think I'll grow potatoes again. Um, but yeah, so I gotta move that raised bed there. Uh, tulips are coming up. I like to move these, but I want to move them now. I don't want to disturb the root mass with the flower just starting to come up. And I don't know if something just ate them, but that's the last daffodil. Used to have a row of them there. Don't know what happened. And I don't think I've noticed any bees around yet, not even bumblebees. Here's another volunteer. That's a red onion. Should probably plant that. It's kind of mushy. It's funny that it actually came up. Maybe I'll grow it for seeds. Got a flat here of marigolds. I think the marigolds that came up uh, last year were volunteers, and I bought this flat like the year before last. Um, I don't see the true leaves on these uh, seedlings here, so I don't know if those are marigolds or not. But I see some seed pods I can salvage. Get some more marigolds. I've got a nice patch here of bee balm or minerta ready to flower to attract the hummingbirds into the garden. They're always neat to look at. You can see the buds on the blueberries here. Swelling up. Gooseberries are really ahead of the game. I wonder if it has anything to do with the pruning I gave them last fall. to clean up the beds here. Looks like the wind blew off the pine bark mulch that I had in here, so I need to amend the soil. Get some pine bark back on top of these beds here. Get the weeds out. Raspberries. Need to put them on a, a fence. Get them trained on a fence or on a wire. Magnolia. About to open up. This one here is uh, Ricky Magnolia.
Yeah, I've got to clean these raised beds up. I have the tomatillas in here. I wonder if there are, there are seeds in this. I don't know. That seems to be filled with some type of uh, fungus. Oh, look at that. There's seeds. I wonder if I can plant those. Huh. There's some seeds there. So it looks like I can, I can salvage, get some plants out of these. <clears throat> these things are interesting. These skeleton remains. Probably make a nice art project out of those. Not me. <laughs> Do not have any artistic ability. But uh, interesting. The leftover skeleton of this. Huh. So clean these all up. I don't think I had some cucumbers in here too, but probably don't have any. Volunteers from cucumbers. I've got the strawberry plants all over the place here. There's some over here. <clears throat> yeah, so I sprayed all the fruit trees, and uh, hopefully that's gonna reduce any of the pest problems. Had a lot to do. Let me get to moving that raised bed there. It was loaded with worms. I was surprised how many worms were in it. I just had tomatoes there last year. So the wooden handles rotted off of my wheelbarrow, so this is going to have to do for now. And did I mention I'm having some dirt delivered today?
So this is what 10 yards looks like. This is 50% uh, compost, 50% loom uh, screened. So I'll be using this for some raised beds and replacing the lawn that disappeared over the winter. This is New England Gardening. Thanks for watching. Looks like I've got some work ahead of me. Definitely need a wheelbarrow.